We've been talking about numbers all week as we cover the U.S. presidential election, but there's another number affecting the lives of Canadians, the rising number of COVID-19 cases. Everyone is living under some kind of public health restriction right now. And as Mike Trollet explains, it is a tricky balance between keeping people healthy and avoiding economic hardship. It was not a good news budget for Ontario by any means. In a year ravaged by COVID-19, how could it be? Premier Doug Ford laid out his plan for recovery. And when the pandemic is over, Ontario will come back with vengeance, stronger and more prosperous than ever before. But it's the path for balance that's still uncertain. Ontario's seven-day average for new cases continues to rise, even as restrictions are lifted in areas that have yet to show much improvement, like Peel Region. But epidemiologists argue with everything they've learned about COVID-19 this year, lockdowns should be only used as a last resort. This is a very, very um, a complex situation. I think that we really have to try to look at all the factors uh, rather than just simplifying it between health and wealth. In Quebec, it's been 10 days since red zone restrictions were extended until November, a move that hasn't been popular with businesses. The province's seven-day average of new cases is still high, but it's leveled off. And unlike Doug Ford, Premier Francois Legault isn't loosening the reins. The most critical situation is in Manitoba, where a series of outbreaks in long-term care homes has threatened to overwhelm hospitals. And the numbers point to worse days to come. The province's positivity rate for testing is at a critically high 8.9%. What that's telling us is that what they're finding on the ground in terms of their cases is probably just the tip of the iceberg. And that iceberg is certainly blocking any path to recovery. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.